Be my protector, O God, a mighty stronghold to save me. For you are my rock, my stronghold. Lead me, guide me, for the sake of your name. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. Let us take a moment to call to mind our sins. You are sent to the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who teach us that you abide in hearts that are just and true, grant that we may be so fashioned by your grace as to become a dwelling pleasing to you, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. reading from the book of Genesis. The man had relations with his wife Eve, and she conceived and bore Cain, saying, I have produced a man with the help of the Lord. Next, she bore his brother Abel. Abel became a keeper of flocks, and Cain a tiller of the soil. In the course of time, Cain brought an offering to the Lord from the fruit of the soil, while Abel, for his part, brought one of the first, the best firstlings of his flock. The Lord looked with favor on Abel and his offering, but on Cain and his offering, he did not. Cain greatly resented this and was crestfallen. So the Lord said to Cain, Why are you so resentful and crestfallen? If you do well, you can hold up your head. But if not, sin is a demon lurking at the door. His urge is toward you, yet you can be his master. Cain said to his brother Abel, let us go out in the field. When they were in the field, Cain attacked his brother Abel and killed him. Then the Lord asked Cain, where is your brother Abel? He answered, I do not know. Am I my brother's keeper? The Lord then said, what have you done? Listen, your brother's blood cries out to me from the soil. Therefore, you shall be banned from the soil that opened its mouth to receive your brother's blood from your hand. If you till the soil, it shall no longer give you its produce. You shall become a restless wanderer on the earth. Cain said to the Lord, my punishment is too great to bear, since you have now banished me from the soil, and I must avoid your presence and become a restless wanderer on the earth anyone may kill me at sight. Not so, the Lord said to him, if anyone kills Cain, Cain shall be avenged sevenfold. So the Lord put a mark on Cain, lest anyone should kill him at sight. Adam again had relations with his wife, and she gave birth to a son whom she called Seth. God has granted me more offspring in place of Abel, she said, because Cain slew him. The word of the Lord. Offer to God a sacrifice of praise. God, the Lord, has spoken and summoned the earth, from the rising of the sun to its setting. Not for your sacrifices do I rebuke you, for your burnt offerings are before me always. 
Why do you recite my statutes and profess my covenant with your mouth? Though you hate discipline and cast my words behind you. You sit speaking against your brother. Against your mother's son, you spread rumors. When you do these things, shall I be deaf to it? Or do you think that I am like yourself? I will correct you by drawing them up before your eyes. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I am the way and the truth and the life, says the Lord. No one comes to the Father except through me. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. The Pharisees came forward and began to argue with Jesus seeking from him a sign from heaven to test him. He sighed from the depth of his spirit and said, Why does this generation seek a sign? Amen, I say to you, no sign will be given to this generation. Then he left them, got into the boat again, and went off to the other shore. The Gospel of the Lord. Well, good morning. I guess y'all all must live really close to church. I'm not sure. This is a, a tough morning to, to, to get out, but we all you know, welcome everyone as we join for this Eucharistic um, celebration. I'm sure we'll all be taking um, today easy. Hopefully no one has to go to work today. And we can just kind of enjoy the day in our homes. Today, we once again continue the journey in the book of Genesis with Adam and Eve, our first parents. Today we hear of their offspring, of their first children, Cain and Abel, and then of Seth. And we hear that story of the first offerings, of the fruit of the land, and of the flock by Cain and Abel. And in a sense, Abel made a worthy offering to God. He brought his first fruits. He brought a lamb that was a firstborn lamb and the finest of his flock. But yet Cain did not bring his first fruits. Cain just brought an offering to the Lord of the soil, grain of his produce, but it was not the best of his grain. It was just average or on poor. But yet God expected to receive the first fruits, to receive the best, because all had been gifted. All had been gift. All had been given to Cain and Abel. So just as we hear scripture say time and time again, we offer our first fruits back to the Lord. So God favored Abel's sacrifice, but Cain was exiled from the garden. And so in this first story, we kind of see the Lord's invitation for us just to live out our daily vocation. Whether it's our work or our role as parents or children, in a sense, we sanctify our daily lives by just offering our first fruits to God as you come out this morning for Mass, even amidst this terrible weather. In a sense, you're going the extra mile and you're offering your first fruits to the Lord. And we're just called simply to sanctify our day every day and, um, you know, remembering that all is gift. That, that all is from God. You can really see that in the creation account, that all was gift, that God created all, and all has been given. And then we see in our gospel today that the Lord laments that the people keep asking for a sign. And I said to recall to that faithful posture of trust in God that he will provide. 
Sometimes we ask for signs to know what we should do. Yet oftentimes we're called not so much to try to control our lives and, and to try to always you know, predict the future and, and know what to do, but we're called to receive the gift of our lives. We're called to accept our circumstances. In a sense, we cannot control God and we cannot control our lives, but we can grow in trust, but we can grow in faith, trusting that God has provided for us, has provided for us in the past, and he will provide for us again in the future. So today let us come before the Lord offering our first fruits, offering our prayers to him, and asking for the grace of a faithful trust and surrender to always accept the circumstances of our life, the trust that God is at work in our lives, bringing about our good and our salvation. For the Pope and all the leaders of the Church, may they be graced with unwavering zeal for the Gospel. We pray to the Lord. For government leaders, may God bless their efforts to work toward world peace. We pray to the Lord. For those suffering from any affliction, may they find strength and peace. We pray to the Lord. In silence, let us offer our own personal intentions. We pray to the Lord. Heavenly Father, trusting in your great love, we pray that you hear these prayers we present through Christ our Lord. Bless the Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Bless the Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May this oblation, O Lord, we pray, cleanse and renew us, and may become for those who do your will the source of eternal reward, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, 
For in goodness you created man, and when he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed him. Through him the angels praise your majesty. Dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sitting down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ and be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and shelter Joseph, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. Have the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the blessed Joseph, her spouse, and the blessed Apostles and all the saints, with St. Genevieve, who have pleased you throughout the ages. May merit to be co heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, to live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God. Lamb of God. 
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter into my roof, but I want to say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Having fed upon these heavenly delights, we pray, O Lord, that we may always long for that food by which we truly live, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Now may God bless the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Go in peace. Amen. Amen. Have a blessed day. Stay safe on the roads. St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray, and do thou, Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits prowl about the world. So, amen. Remember, most gracious Virgin Mary, and never was it known that anyone fled to thy protection or sought thy intercession. Start this confidence, I fly unto thee, O virgins of virgins, my mother. To thee do I come, before thee I stand, sinful and sorrowful. And by the word incarnate, despise not my petitions, and in thy mercy hear and answer me. Amen. <laughs>